Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Sparkle English where I teach you how to improve your level of English. In today's video, we are going to talk about the past simple in the affirmative form. I'm going to teach you all the different spelling rules you need to know when conjugating verbs in the past simple tense. And at the end of this lesson, we will have a 10 question quiz. So when do we use the past simple? We use the past simple when we are talking about something that happened in the past. We use the past simple with finished actions, states, or habits. So we would use the present tense to talk about something happening right now in the present, but we use the past tense to talk about a finished action in the past. The past simple is used with these time words, yesterday, last night, last week, or last weekend, last month, last year, or you might specify a number of weeks, months, years ago. So two weeks ago, five months ago, two years ago, or talking about something that happened in the past in 2020, in 1985, in the 19th century. So let's look at some examples. We played hockey last night. Luis watched a movie yesterday. I lived in Madrid three years ago. He moved to Italy in 2015. In all of these sentences, we are talking about something that happened in the past and not in the present. So now let's talk about spelling rules for regular verbs in the past simple. With most verbs, we add ed. So for example, I work in the present tense would become I worked. We add ed. Talk becomes talked. Watch becomes watched. Now, if you want help or clarification on how to pronounce these words, I have a video that I will link you to in the description below. And the verb stays the same in the past simple, even if you are using the first, second, or third person. The next rule is that verbs ending in E, we just add D. So like becomes liked. Hope hoped, love, loved, because all of these verbs end in E. The next rule is that verbs that end in a vowel plus Y, we add ED. So for example, play becomes played, because this verb ends in a vowel plus Y, or enjoy becomes enjoyed, because again, Enjoy ends in a vowel, O, plus Y, so we add ED. Now, verbs that end in a consonant plus Y, we cross out the Y and add IED. So, study becomes studied because it ends in DY, a consonant plus a Y. Try becomes tried. Reply becomes replied. Now the next rule is that one syllable verbs ending in a single vowel plus a single consonant, we have to double the consonant and add ed. So plan becomes planned with a double n. Because this is a one syllable verb, and it ends in a single vowel and a single consonant. Stop, stopped, with double P. Trip, tripped, double P. Jog, jogged, with double G. Now verbs that end in X or W, we add ED. So fix becomes fixed. Even though this is one syllable, because it ends in X, we just add ED. Mix, mixed. Sew, sewed. Show, showed. Chew, 
chewed. Verbs that end in C, we add a KED. Now, there are not many verbs that end in C, but some examples would be panic, which becomes panicked, mimic, mimicked, frolic, frolicked. And finally, when a verb has more than one syllable, and when the final syllable is stressed, we double the consonant and add ed. So if you listen to how I say prefer, you can hear that the second syllable is stressed. I don't say prefer, I say prefer. And because I'm stressing the final syllable of this word, we double the R and add ED. Prefer, preferred. Control, controlled. Refer, referred. Now, I know these rules may sound a little complicated, but the more practice you do, the more often you read and see these words, you will start to memorize the correct spelling. So now I want to read a conversation example in the past simple. Hey, what did you do last weekend? I visited my family for a few days. I played a lot of video games with my nephew. Did you have a nice weekend? No, not really. I studied all weekend for my exam. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I finished all my exams yesterday. Congratulations. Thank you. So if you see here, we have several verbs in the past simple. Visited, played, studied, and finished. And you can also see these time words, last weekend, yesterday. You can also see what did you do last weekend. And we use did when we are asking questions in the past simple. In my next video, I will talk about the past simple in the negative and interrogative forms and how we use did and didn't. Okay, so now we are going to do a practice quiz to practice the spelling rules of the past simple in the affirmative form. So your job is to complete these sentences with the correct form of the verb in brackets. All of these verbs here, you have to put in the past simple tense, in the affirmative form. So number one, Matthew, a movie with his girlfriend last night. Number two, we, basketball yesterday. Number three, the mechanic, my car a few weeks ago. Number four, I, and screamed when he tried to kiss me. Number five, he, a new business last year. Number six, Carlos, all week for his exam. Number seven, she, an amazing dinner for her boyfriend. Number eight, they, a surprise birthday party for their mom. Number nine, Emily, to have an outdoor wedding by the beach. And finally, number 10, he, to go to Australia for his 30th birthday. Okay, so let's correct these together. Number one, Matthew watched a movie with his girlfriend last night. For this, we just add ed. Number two, we played basketball yesterday. And for this one, we just add ed. Because with this verb, we have the vowel a before y. And when it's vowel plus y, we just add ed. Number three, the mechanic fixed my car a few weeks ago. Again, this ends in X, and when a regular verb ends in X, we just add ED. Number four, I panicked and screamed when he tried to kiss me. Because this verb ends in a C, 
we have to add KED. Again, there are not very many verbs that end in C, but we usually have to add a KED after verbs that end in C. Number five, he started a new business last year. For this, we just add ED. Number six, Carlos studied all week for his exam. S-T-U-D-I-E-D. -E now, because the verb study ends in a consonant D before Y, we have to cross out the Y and add I-E-D. Number seven, she prepared an amazing dinner for her boyfriend. Because the verb prepare ends in E, we just have to add a D because it already ends in an E. Number eight, they planned. Now for this one, we have to double the N. They planned a surprise birthday party for their mom. Because plan is one syllable and it ends in a single vowel and single consonant, we have to double the N and add ED. Number nine, Emily preferred to have an outdoor wedding by the beach. Now for this one, there are two syllables and listen to where the stress is, prefer. Because the stress is on the second syllable, we have to double the R and add ED. Preferred with double R. And finally, number 10, he wanted to go to Australia for his 30th birthday. Okay, so I want you to let me know in the comment section how many you got correct out of 10. Again, all of these words have a different sound. You know, we don't say watched or played or fixed. We say watched, played, fixed. They all have different sounds at the end. So if you want help on how to pronounce these words, I have an entire video on how to pronounce verbs with ED endings, which I will link you to in the description below this video. So let me know in the comment section how many you got correct out of 10. And in my next video, I will be talking about the past simple in the negative and interrogative form. So you can make negative sentences and questions. Thank you guys once again for watching and I will see you in my next lesson.